Now you could probably learn how to make better French toast on some channels. So if you're here to really learn how to make French toast, I'm sorry. So as you can see, these are our ingredients, but something's missing and we'll get into that later. We have our two brown eggs, about a pinch of salt, a pinch of nutmeg, a dash of vanilla extra, a pinch of ground cinnamon, and of course, the secret ingredient. Now, of course, here is the best part of the French toast. This is chocolate almond milk. Instead of that regular lactate, this is gonna go hard. I'm also lactose intolerant, so that's a plus. So this is like an interesting consistency. This is gonna get you about six thick slices of French toast and all the ingredients are mixed into here. You have the brown eggs, the chocolate almond milk. You have cinnamon, vanilla extract, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. So this is what the final product should look like. Now, I actually pour it into another bowl. That way the bread doesn't soak because we want our bread moist. So I need butter and coconut oil. So let's turn this pan for the French toast up to, uh, what do they say, medium high or something? This thing goes up to, I'm putting my pan on three. So we're just gonna wait for this pan to warm up. You know, kids don't know how to wait these days. I'm not one of those kids. What was I doing again? A slab of butter on that coconut oil. And then that butter is going to, uh, what are those big words that the chefs say? That butter is gonna start to burn and that's good. I think I messed something up. You know what, I think I definitely messed something up. I think I started with my pan too cool. Usually kids, you gotta wait until the pan is already hot. Look at me acting like I'm teaching. I'm not teaching that, that I don't know what I'm doing. Some people soak their bread in the mixture for way too long. I'm not one of those people. So it's just a dab, all right? Dab gets one side, dab on the other side. See that? Beautiful. And then we're gonna bring it, and we're gonna lay away. Dang it, it's supposed to be so much more dramatic. So we're gonna let that stay there. They usually say the best, the first French toast is the worst French toast. We're gonna find out. You see, you hear that? Do, do, do you hear that? That's what you wanna hear. You could smell sugar. Only a real chef can do this. This is what I like in a French toast, a crunchy outer layer. Mm. Oh. I mean, it's- It's, it's nothing to it's me. It's, no it's nothing to me. <laughs> it's, it's not that hard, but. You wanna try? No, I didn't. You, I didn't don't have, you don't have to even film. Let's, let's see you do it. Here. So, you just rinse and repeat with this. You just dip, soak, lay away, and let it sit. I don't know for how long, it's depending on your pot, yada, 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 but just be patient. People ask if money can buy happiness. I say they're asking the wrong question. See how I got this Jesus shirt on, right? Wanna hear my philosophy? <laughs> we are all created in the image of God, right? And we are all sons and daughters of God. And if I am a child of God, that makes me like a relative of God, right? It makes sense. Say yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So um, instead of saying um, God, what's another word for God, right? Alpha, Omega. Jehovah. Jehovah. But another word for him is the creator. So you can in theory say that I'm creator junior. Uh -oh. I'm God junior. Uh oh. You wrong? Okay, so 
So we're gonna make our blueberry syrup now. So what you wanna do is raise the heat up to like a four. You're gonna put the, some more coconut oil in there. This is something I never tried before. I'm gonna put the rest of the mixture in with the blueberries. Do it! Once you're in it, you're in it. So I have a cup of blueberries. I'm gonna put those in here without... Oh! No! God, please, no! This is what the sauce should actually look like. You know, I wouldn't put the mixture in there at all. You wanna let it, it's just like the stuff at IHOP. Except, you know, it's cheap. We're gonna set one. Mm. One slice, butter. And of course you wanna set your syrup over it. Make, make, make that stuff look fancy. All right, keep it rolling. And just a touch of powdered sugar. Okay, so here we have the unpresenting, unfamous, unprofessional looking French toast. It tastes way better than it looks. Let's give it a taste. It's delicious. People always talk about the flavor, yada yada. I'ma just, I'ma just eat it. It's unpresenting, yada yada. It's Mm -mm. Wow. Uh-oh. What the f it's, it's my water bottle. So this might be the best French toast you ever make. And it might not. And if it isn't, then too bad.